it's almost in a strange counterintuitive sort of way the best teaching moment of this most recent tragedy i think was the look on the officer's face for white people to see how nonchalant how casual how just every day going about his job so much so that he could just put his left hand in his pocket wriggle his knee around a little bit to teach this person some sort of a lesson and it was his right and his duty to do it in his mind i, I don't know i think i'm just embarrassed as a white person to know that that can happen uh, to actually watch a lynching you know we've all seen books and you look in the books and you see black people hanging up on trees and you you are amazed but we just saw it again I, i never thought i'd see that you know with my own eyes in real time black people have been shouldering this burden for 400 years the only reason this nation has made the progress it has is because of the persistence and patience and effort of black people uh you know the, the the history of our nation from the very beginning in many ways was a lie and we continue to this day mostly black and brown people to try to make that lie a truth so that it's no longer a lie and those rights and privileges uh, are enjoyed by people of color just like we enjoy them what's it going to take two more black people with knees in their necks i i don't think so i i, I don't think that's going to happen uh, how many more sandy hooks do we have to have it's easy for people to let things go because it doesn't involve them it's like the neighborhood where you know there's a dangerous corner and you know that something's going to happen someday and nobody does anything and then a young kid gets killed and the stop sign goes up well without getting too political we got a lot of stop signs that need to go up quickly because our country is in trouble and the basic reason is race